Roxanne's be with enjoying life supernaturally. The father said to tell you today that as a hen sits on the egg and incubates it, keeps it warm, develops it, lets it um, be close in its embrace until it hatches. The father says, that is what I'm doing with you this day. I'm incubating you. You are more precious to me than an egg with a hen. But the father says, that's how much detail. That's, that's how much I surround you to where my body keeps your body warm. And what I'm doing right now is very much incubation. You're going to hatch, the father says. Look at it like that. The father says that he directs your steps. He says, I am and I have been directing your very steps. I've directed you into this situation. The father says, but I'm going to pull you right out of it because everything I wanted and needed to use has been accomplished. The father says, I am in control. I'm going to say it again. The father says, you are mine and I am yours. I draw, I, I drew you in with my spirit. I chose you. I am in control. I say when, I say who, I say how much. The Father says that you make your plans, but it is I who directs your steps. And I bring it all to a certain destination, a certain place where I use it. The Father says the enemy meant this. The enemy used this for evil, but the Lord says, I am using it for the good, for the saving of you, your soul, your children, your mother, your father, your siblings, everything that concerns you. The father says your inheritance is being released, that the inheritance that's been stopped or blocked or held up, the father says it is held up no more. The Lord says, for I love you. I love you. I adore you. I make the crooked places straight. The father says, see into the situation that's in front of you right now. I'm giving you wisdom to know how to apply the right instruction, the right principle, because I'm using this to build you. It's another building. It's a step. It's a stepping stone because there's a stage waiting for you. I see a stage prepared. There's a microphone. There's curtains. There's lights. And I see you stepping onto the stage ready to go. The father says it's all been staged. I knew how much to give you, when to take it off. The father says, I am crying out to you today. I'm pleading with you to lift up your head, to open your eyes, to receive the warmth of my embrace as I push you on to the very stage of your life. The father says, you are no longer in isolation. You're no longer in the cave or the wilderness. That season is over. It did accomplish which I will and please. The father says the pressure will let up. Your eyes will see why you are going through this very situation and how it is so imperative that you come through to the finish. The Lord says one more step and you're done. One more step and you're out. Know that I am with you to deliver you. The Lord says victory has become such a cliche word. It's, it's, we kind of shrug it off, but he says, you win. You win the battle. The outcome is yours. The outcome is sure. The father says, see it. Rise up high like an eagle. Soar because I've given you eagle eyes. You're going to start operating your prophetic gifting very heavily. The Father says, I'm increasing your ability to hear. I'm increasing your ability to see. You're drawn to the prophetic ministry because it is me calling you. This is the time I'm revealing to you as I did Apostle Paul. I'm telling you, come up. This is what I have for you. This is what you're going to do. This is why you went through everything you went through. It's going to make sense. And that is going to bring a healing rain to your soul. Your spirit's going to leap the way when John the Baptist came into close contact with Mary when she was pregnant with Jesus. The, the baby leapt, right? 
Because the Holy Spirit had made contact. The Lord says, I am baptizing you fresh and new in my Holy Spirit, in my fire, and in my power. The Lord says, I'm sending the dynamite. And you will speak in new tongues. You are going to prophesy, dream dreams. You're going to cast out the, the enemy. You're going to heal the sick and raise the dead. Literally, the father says, receive this elevation. Receive this commissioning and this promotion today. The father says, you are an important player in my kingdom. That you are a secret weapon. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. You win, says the Father. You win. Just breathe. Breathe the Holy Spirit in. And breathe the fear, the doubt, the shame, the insecurity, the torment. Breathe it out. The Father says it's over. You're fresh and new. You're walking into the greatest chapter, the greatest season of your life. It's already begun, says the Lord. You will not see the battles that you faced in the past. You will not repeat those sin cycles. You will not repeat those toxic relationships. The Lord says you will see the red flags because you have worth and you have value. I made you fearfully and wonderfully made. I know every hair on your head. I know every thought that you think before it even comes to mind. I know every word you're going to say. Pray. Speak out of your mouth. Proclaim the goodness of God. Sing forth praises. The Lord says some you're stuck Sometimes you just can't get the, the energy to pray. But the Lord says, I hear your cries. The Lord says, I've answered you this day. You will speak. You will decree and declare a thing. It shall be established. The Father says, prophesy to those dead dry bones as Ezekiel did to the army of bones. And they became living. One joint, one ligament. They attached the bones and they got up and they were alive. The Lord says, prophesy to every dead dry bone. He says, you know the ones. They're coming to mind right now. He says, I'm giving you the inclination. I'm giving you the ideas. It is me who forms the ideas, the thoughts mm, for you to bring to life. The Father says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So speak life. Mm. Cherish who you are. The Father says the days of the pain, the downcast. He says those are no more. There's specific situations that have brought you agony. It feels like it's never going to end. The Father says it ends now. I've been with you today and yesterday. I've heard your prayers. I've seen your tears. I've watched you as you put up a front to be strong. You don't need to. The Father says, get naked in front of me. Let down your wall. Let down your mask for I am making you authentically you. That's what I need to reach this lost and dark and broken world is what's inside of you. I call Call it forth. Lazarus, come forth that I may show my glory. When you're stinking, you're wrapped up in grave clothes, you're like a mummy. That's when you're coming forth in power, in strength, in light, in love, in wisdom. You're going to be of quick understanding as Christ was. You're going to have counsel, the spirit of counsel. You're going to bring my people out of death into light. They're going to walk triumphantly, victoriously because you chose to believe. You, you pushed through. You battled hard and long, the father says, and I am now rewarding you with the crown of life. The crown that I promised rest upon you today. So does my power. You will see it. You will feel it. Step into it. All right, you guys, when he stops, I stop. So if you are blessed by this message and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. It helps the algorithm, guys. Everybody needs the gospel. They need the word just as much as you do. So share, share, share. Guys, if this encouraged you, if this built you up, please hit the like button because it matters too. Thank you guys for your comments. 
We're a little family. I'm getting to know you guys. You're loving each other. You're encouraging one another. You're praying for each other. You're responding to people's comments. I love it. It's awesome, you guys. Use your gifts on YouTube. Use your gifts to bless another person. That's what it's all about. All right, guys, if you feel led to sow into this ministry so that we can keep going all over the U.S., all over the world, bringing people into freedom, ripping them out of bondage, guys, you're helping. So please sow into the ministry. You can do so with the information in the description. All right, you guys, I love you. Have a good day. Be blessed. See you next time. Mwah.